Hi, this is Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, I wanted to share with you a story that I've been thinking about today. Last Wednesday in Southern California, a man named Stephen Harmon, 34 years old, died of COVID-19. At the end of his life, he was not only in the hospital, he was in the ICU. From the hospital, he tweeted out a call for prayer. He was a very religious man, very active and supportive of his church, according to his pastor. So he tweeted out that people would pray for him, and I suppose some people did. But some people also took uh, occasion to note that Stephen Harmon, before he came down with COVID, had been a vaccine skeptic, had made uh, jokes about and critical comments about the COVID-19 vaccine. So while you may or may not pray for him, people who were high-fiving or noting the irony of his uh, illness and death are ghouls. I'm pretty sure the hospitals are full of people who have tweeted out pictures of fatty meals and bad health habits and have shared recipes and have done all kinds of things that could be connected to their illness or their infirmity or even their death. We're not going to start this, are we? We're not going to start judging people that way. We're not going to start withholding our humanity from people whose illness is something we can see was going to happen to them. And boy, they should have seen it coming. And are we really going to start doing that? Is, is that really who we are? In fact, are his tweets even really worthy of being a news story as they have been not only in California, but now nationwide? There's something about this story that doesn't look good for the people who want it not to look good for Stephen Harmon. We'll talk about it this afternoon, among many other things, between 4 and 7 on 550 and 1071 KTSA. Our show is always available on demand. You can find it on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com.